So now that you guys know how the WSDA looks, let's look at some considerations when testing web services. There's a good five, and if you're automating all this, and you start with all of this, it would be a great start, a great set of test cases for you to do. So, first thing you may want to consider is does the service respond with correct values? A lot of you may know this is positive testing. Very simple, you know, provide a value and make sure that it returns the appropriate response. And we'll go through all these one by one. I'll show you guys with UFT what's going on. And in fact, let's go do that now. I'm going to open up UFT. Let me delete this and create a new one for you guys. This is UFT, guys. Anybody that doesn't know about it, I actually have already multiple tutorials on it teaching you guys how to interact with it, what it does. So if you're unclear about what the heck is going on here and what happened to QTP, make sure you go catch those because now this is UFT version 11.5. So we're going to select API test. I'm going to name it SOAP Web Services. Let's add it. Okay. First thing we want to do is come up here and import a WSDL. And from a URL. And I'm going to paste that in here just like we did in our browser. Click OK. Give it some time. It's going to import. And so what it's going to do is it's going to parse this XML and it's going to give us back all of the methods. All these methods, you guys can see over here. Check it out. So these are all the methods. When you invoke them, you can pass values to them. They'll return you something back. It's in a user-friendly version for you so that you don't have to deal with the scripting. 